Hey guys, it's Becky. If you like this pumpkin head inspired look, stick around. I'll show you exactly how I made it. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you get updates every time I load a video. First, we're gonna go ahead and start off with some regular baking flour and some liquid latex I bought from the Halloween store. I'm going to mix that up into a small bowl and make a paste. This dries pretty quickly, so don't make it too thick or you won't be able to work it into your mask. I'm gonna go ahead and cover a mannequin head with that and I'm going to just use a spoon to smooth it out. Then I'm going to dip my fingers into some pure liquid latex to help shape my mask. After I get the latex kind of smoothed out and where I want it to go, I'm going to take this metal spatula, dip it into my liquid latex so it doesn't get stuck, and I'm going to start to carve out the mouth. I want to make my mouth very large and extended. Once I've got my mouth shaped the way I want it to go, I made up another batch of the liquid latex and flour and added it to the top of the head and now I'm just carving out the way I want the eye sockets to go. Take your time with this step because once it starts to dry, it's gonna be very hard to maneuver the liquid latex paste around. Now taking that same metal spatula dipped in liquid latex, I'm going to carve out the shape I want my nose to be in. It's kind of a cross between a human and a skeleton nose. And I'm going to smooth out the cheek so it has a nice transition. Now to make it look a little bit more like a pumpkin, I'm going to add the lines all the way down its face and around the back of its head, and I'm going to give it a sunken in look so we can highlight those later. Now taking a simple toilet paper roll that I cut into about two to two and a half inches long, I'm going to squish it so it's not so perfectly round, and then I'm going to place it into the latex on top of the pumpkin's head. Later, I will secure this a little bit better with more liquid latex and a little hot glue. After letting the mask sit and dry for about two days, I'm going to create my own paint because normal paints will not stick to the liquid latex without cracking or chipping away. I'm going to use rubber cement and thin that down with a chemical called naphtha. Naphtha is incredibly flammable, so be sure to be very cautious when using this chemical. I'm also going to be coloring my paint with some oil paints. A little paint does go a very long way, so just mix a little bit of it up and add color as you need it. And be sure to thin the paint down as much as you need it to go. Right now I'm just making a brown wash to paint over my entire mask and then I'm going to wipe that away with a napkin that I have put naphtha on.
I'm now repeating that same process, but I'm going to make orange by combining yellow and red oil paints in the naphtha and rubber cement mixture. Once you have the perfect shade of orange, go ahead and put an entire coat of that all over your mask. Later, you can add a little bit of white to this color and a little bit of black to make it lighter and darker for highlighting shades. Just to make sure we didn't lose any definition, go back in with your brown and go back over all of your lines and the recessed parts of your mask. I then made a darker, thicker brown paint and added in some forest green just to break up the brown color and give my mask a little more visual interest. I'm going to add this dark green color to all of my recessed lines, but not as much as I did the brown. I want to keep it separate so it has more definition. I'm also going to be adding that to the stem and anywhere else I want to darken up just a little. As you can see here, I'm going to deepen out the hollows of the eyes and bring that onto my orange color just a little bit to give it more of a weathered, spooky type look. Using a small pair of cuticle scissors, I'm going to separate the mouth. That way, whenever I put the mask on, I'll be able to secure it to my jaw and speak. Then I'm going to take a regular black coal eyeliner and line the top and bottom of my eyelids heavily. Then with a black aqua paint, I'm going to paint around my mouth and eyes, trying not to get it into my mouth, but it was non-toxic, so if you get a little bit in there, it's okay. Once I have the mask on, I'm going to secure it to my jawline with some simple toilet paper and liquid latex.
Then I'm going to paint my jawline and my neck orange and try to match the color scheme that I used in the mask using some blacks for definition. I also went ahead and took liquid latex, put around my eyes so my mask wouldn't move. And this is the finished product. You should be able to move your mouth around quite easily and scare the heck out of your friends on Halloween. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.